but what gives the Lord all the glory. Now, if we could see in the heart as men sing or as they give testimony, what comes out of the lips might be, well, I praise the Lord. I can't tell you how many times I've heard testimonials where it begins with that. People are, are programmed by religion to stand up and say, well, praise the Lord. Everybody's praise the Lord, raise the hand. And then they start talking about the reason they're praising the Lord and in reality, they're giving a testimony about themselves. They really want you to know something about them, but they put the name of the Lord in it to give it some kind of importance. That's not praising the Lord. True praise to the Lord, and that's what's summed up in this word, hallelujah, is to praise him for all of his attributes and for who he is and all of his glory in good times and in bad. We've seen that expression, the Lord is always good at all times. Well, that's true. But as far as our hearts go, they're so depraved that whenever the Lord directs something our way that we consider good, then we praise him. But if he brings us through a trial and a difficulty and we are not so happy about it, our lips are, are sealed. And that's because the heart is sealed. The heart is hardened. That's not praise. Praise is to worship God in all times and all season and in every way because he is worthy of glory.